go. I didn't see him like Interesting. I'm ready. Trust no one. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? Beverages of distinction, or in some cases, extinction, if you ain't careful. How you feeling today? Lucky? It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <laughs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorm, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. A little less impressive as revelations go. You'll forgive the spying, I hope. The guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. 
We just became the best of friends. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. The leader of some new crew that's intent on painting my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on a message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. Doesn't matter. Whatever god the prick prays to, I'll send him to meet it soon enough. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants. If it's just the watch warrants you're reading. The guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. The Watch, the Council, even the Parliament of Peers, they're the clean face they want the world to see. But the Guild is the blood, the bone, the gristle, the ugly bits that actually make Baldur's Gate move. We'll be the ones still holding the gate when all those others have fled. Did you enjoy the encounter? <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but... Straight to business, then. You've been seen with a certain harper. Grey of hair, somewhat spiky of manner. We're practically sisters! <laughs> So much so, I even stopped trying to have her killed a few years back. I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? Until then. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. To slay a devil in his domain is to end him entire. Or it should be. I am still primed to hear some slimy final rhyme from beyond the grave. Ah. I know what she speaks of. I need, uh, information from her. And a pardon from you. For I have not been overly generous with the truth. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? Ah, Minsk. A legendary hero who made his home in Baldur's Gate. 
You're fortunate not to have encountered the madman and his pet hamster during your nocturnal hunts. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. As it happens, everything. He was with me the night I first heard that name. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, got off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? Hmm. Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. Nine Fingers Keen controls the guild, which in turn controls every criminal racket from Heapside to the High Hall. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't hear of sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. As you wish. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. How nice. You won't find many of those in my guild hall. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. It should. My people speak it in the same breath as Saravok and Demogorgon, but he's just another upstart. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. 
Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. I don't let trust tie my hands. That's why I sit in this very fine office. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira... Well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. So, Nine Fingers and the Stone Lord will face off at the Counting House. Should be quite the spectacle. You are not known to me. For supplies, seek the bugbear. To trade trinkets, the fetcher's brats. I am Ukta, duly elected guild bursar, and I will not have my time wasted. Oh, is that what Nine Fingers was doing earlier? Wasting guild time with this Stone Lord business? Hmm. You might say so. I could not possibly comment. <laughs> I sense there is no love lost between the two of you. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make? Hmm. I have not come so far by indulging in petty disputes. But I am open to transactions of mutual benefit. I am interested in gaining access to vaults beneath the Counting House. I'd pay well for keys to those vaults. Provided said vaults are uh, not emptied prematurely, of course. <laughs> I suspect that what you seek might also be found beneath the Counting House. I tell you this only as a matter of mutual interest. She plans to ambush Minsk at the Counting House. But what the hell would he want there? What you do with that information is a matter for yourself. Now, back to the vault keys. Do we have business to conduct? Until you do, then. See anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. Come on, bruh. Another! Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Let's just say the previous owners no longer have a use for them. Got me? Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling?
sometimes stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me? Same side, friend. Nine fingers invited us herself. Wow, look who it is. Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketterick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Give me that. Can't have this floating around loose. I thought I was meant to be the thief. Bloody idiot! You can kill half the devils in the hells for all I care, but Raphael was my patron. He made promises. <sighs> this is just a hiccup, though. I'll still run this city one day, with or without Raph, and when I do, my guild won't look on you too kindly. Talk to Sticky. Until I come to collect, our business is done! The Guild Hall has one rule. All crime stays in the city streets, where it belongs. Break this rule, and you die. Now, the Guildmaster's little hunt is bringing all sorts of new faces out of the woodwork. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. I could smell the good taste on you the moment you walked over here. Maybe I'll even throw in that saucy wink for free.
Hmm. Yes. Still nothing.
Someone there. Shame no one cares enough. Spill some blood. Make way!
Minsk is the Stone Lord. Jahira's friend doesn't sound so friendly after all. So, the Stone Lord is Minsk, Jahira's old acquaintance. Painfully small world at times. The Counting House. More bastion than bank, I'm afraid. Minsk must have a way in. But he's never had much use for coin beyond whatever sharp steel it could buy. There must be something in the vaults the Great Chosen are after. All the more reason to get there. Swiftly. I have no reason to doubt the Guildmaster's information. Only her conclusions. The Stone Lord she describes sounds nothing like Minsk. As for the name, well... A bad joke, perhaps. A time of troubles ended almost a century and a half ago. I weathered the years between with all the elven grace you have no doubt come to expect. But do you know how Minsk, a human, passed those years? I'll give you a hint. They named him the Beloved Ranger. You recall the urban myth that trickled through the lower city fest halls some years back. A hero who had been turned into a statue, returning to life in the city's hour of need. No! He's an idiot who pissed off some gutter mage with a flair for petrification. To this day, I still don't know all the details. I don't even know how he was freed. Harper work would take me from the city, sometimes for years at a time. The few occasions I visited his monument well, I took it as a moment for reflection, to think of old friends, and the fight I had to continue in their name. And during all my self-serious brooding, that big, dumb, insufferable buffoon was staring me in the face. <laughs> I did. On occasion, I even found myself critiquing the stonework. Surely his head was not so large as this. I cannot call myself a particularly good friend. But I am his friend. And I cannot let Nine Fingers have him. You're sure? Later, then. I wasn't expecting it, but all right.
All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. If you're sure. Fine. Ah, oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. We need all three stones to command the brain. It matters little in what order we obtain them, or how. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. As you wish. A crooked touch. Watch your back. Very well, then. Subtle steps. With pleasure. Is that? Uh, no. An ordinary lamp. Pity.
All right. Don't mind if I do. 